beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Matthew chapter 6 and verse 13. Let's start with the words of Jesus himself. When you are dealing with matters that are very controversial, it's important to start with the words of the master himself. Ready to read? Verse 13. One to read. And lead us not into temptation, uh -huh, but deliver us from evil. Stop jesus is telling us how to pray and he's saying that this detail should be captured in the content of your prayer lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us from evil that means it is possible that a man is not delivered from evil please follow me carefully lead us not into temptation jesus not a prophet not an apostle not a general overseer jesus himself is talking lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil obadiah 1 17 second scripture we're going to be reading six powerful scriptures Apologies to those outside. I know that you're not having the best of experience. Obadiah 1, 17. But upon Mount Zion, there shall be... Talk to me. There shall be... And there shall be holiness. And only after this, then the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions that means there is a possession for the house of jacob but that possession will never enter their hands until they come to mount zion and that in mount zion one of the things that must happen to them to possess their possession is that there must be deliverance are we together remember the bible tells us what happens it says ye are come to mount zion and now Obadiah the prophet is telling us that one of the activities that happen upon Mount Zion is deliverance that grants the house of Jacob access it is their possession but they cannot possess it it is their possession no one is arguing with the fact that it is your possession but to possess it it says there shall be deliverance scripture number three hmm. 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 18. 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 18. Go ahead and read please. One to read. And the Lord shall deliver me from how many? 
every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever and the lord there is a name god is called the deliverer he's not just el shaddai he's not just all of this he says and the lord shall deliver me this is not old testament are we together now this is this is this is paul mentoring his son in the gospel timothy and among the details that was captured is the fact that the lord can deliver a man so there are evil works the lord shall deliver me from every evil work fourth scripture a long reading psalm 59 <laughs> psalm 59 17 verses in all let's see if we can stretch it through i will read and where i may need you to participate you just follow with me are we ready deliver me from my enemies oh my god defend me from them that rise up against me next verse deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men for lo they lie in wait for my soul the mighty are gathered against me not for my transgression nor for my sin verse 4 they run and prepare themselves without my fault awake to help me and behold Thou therefore, O Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, awake to visit the hidden. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressors. Verse 6. They return at evening. Listen carefully. They make a noise like a dog. They go round about the city. Behold, they belch out with their mouths swords are in their lips for who they say will hear that means it's not a physical thing nine okay eight but thou O lord shall laugh at them and thou shall have all the hidden in derision you see laughter again that every time god is about to judge the enemies he laughs it's a principle because of his strength will I wait upon thee for you are my defense and all of that go to 14 verse 14 at evening let them return and let them make a noise like a dog and go round about the city 15 let them wander up and down for meat and grudge if they be not satisfied 16 but I will sing of thy power yea i will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning for thou hast been my defense and my refuge in the day of trouble the last verse unto thee O my strength will i sing for god is my defense and the god of my mercy there are wicked men they make sounds and they communicate mysteries and they say who shall hear who shall know that I just poured sand on the ground. Who shall know? Listen carefully. No matter what your perspective is about it, just follow me. It's a series. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It says, but against principalities. Apostle Paul is teaching the church in Ephesus here against powers against rulers of the darkness of this world against the spiritual wickedness in high places are we together last verse John chapter 8 and verse 32 And ye shall know the truth. Hmm. And ye shall know the truth. Not hear the truth. 
and ye shall know the truth if you care to know that truth and like I've taught you the truth shall make you free there is a relationship between your deliverance your emancipation your victory in this kingdom and the quality of truth that is made affordable to you are we together the Bible did not leave us in darkness as to the fact that the whole world lies in wickedness the Bible clearly lets us know that we are in a system that is largely antichrist antichrist in ideology antichrist in approach are we together right from the fall of man there has been an old story an old story about the attempts to frustrate the purposes of God through men and for some reason Satan has concealed the mystery of the operation of the realm of the spirit from believers for many years the average believers understanding about the realm of the spirit is just the presence of the holy spirit and what he can do in the life of the believer which is useful and, and, and important and even superior in terms of quality however the bible tells us to not be ignorant of the devil's devices are we together now this subject of deliverance has been approached from many perspectives many have addressed it from an occultic perspective others have addressed it from a cultural or tradocultural perspective others have approached it from a perspective of pure ignorance complete ignorance and many people in an attempt to deal with this subject have trivialized the importance the usefulness are we together now of the informations that are scattered in the bible that have been responsible for the victory of the saints and will be responsible for our victory many of our innocent loved ones have become victims because they did not know the truth and they still do not know the truth there is no liberty there is no emancipation i have learned that truth is powerful if it is truth then deliverance emancipation victory are we together is what must follow a number of us may be may have been taught that the moment you want to attempt to talk about the subject of deliverance you are negating what we have collectively known to be in the body of Christ as the reality of the finished work of Christ but that is not so that is not so all of this it is it is because of the reality of what Christ has done that we even have access to the intelligence of the spirit to have this level of understanding because the carnal man cannot understand spiritual things whether they are demonic whether they are divine once you are carnal the scope of your understanding is the three-dimensional realm are we together now the revelation behind this teaching is for many of us the explanation behind the tragedies in our lives behind the tragedies in our families behind the many prayers we pray that may seem unanswered and just follow me as I attempt to teach you like I said tonight we're only introducing the subject and I trust that the Lord will grant us grace that at the end of this series you will not only rejoice in your victory but you will have to rush to go and meet others to tell them hold on I found what is missing in your life I found what is missing in your family they may not listen to you but that you can tell them if you truly want to excel in this kingdom then listen to me are we together because of the rain let's take five or ten minutes to just pray in the spirit i think it's at least very useful it's, it still it still works out in our favor to just pray and prepare our spirits while we consider this shabalakatos open my eyes oh god Shabakato Shabarakatoshi 
Lord, finally, the answer to my prayer. Finally, the age long mystery is about to be solved. Pray, pray. Ranta kaparusa da balakatosia. My understanding is fruitful. My questions are answered by the anointing, by the Spirit. Explanations are given to me by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Please sit down. I have watched families please listen carefully under the siege of demons of darkness of yokes of causes of bondages and I have seen the devastating effect are we together I come from a region and a background where I've had my fair share of the operation of darkness. There is no family represented in Africa, no family represented in Africa by default that does not have a connection with the dark world that affords them an opportunity to wield some kind of influence upon people. Are we together? Marriages are being destroyed even among believers and there is no obvious explanation finances people go to school they rise up they get jobs they crash down mysterious debts all kinds of operations within our territory science has done their best to explain i was watching something this morning a, a little documentary about the top 10 phenomena around the world that science have not been able to explain and I, I wanted to watch it just to hear what science has to say about the issues and it's amazing how science is limited in the face of spiritual intelligence they can only do their best but come up with explanations that you just nod and say not so are we together I have been very I have been very interested in spiritual things and the realm of the spirit not just because of the nature of my call and assignment but because i learned early in life that everything in the physical realm is a slave to the realm of the spirit are we together that the realm of the spirit is the originator the realm of the spirit is the mother of everything that happens in the physical realm and that realities that manifest physically are only actors the real control system is in the realm of the spirit i have seen things in my life i have experienced things in my life that have made me to ask questions i have seen things happen through me i have read books and i have seen things written in those books that got me very very concerned and made me to have to go back to the word of god to find out and it's amazing the things that I have found out and amazed at the ignorance of the body though well-meaning and that if these truths are not taught with the requisite knowledge and the requisite balance the church will suffer in the days to come are we together before I approach this subject let me give honor to our fathers and the generals of faith who have labored in the spirit 
to bring as best revelation as they could within their timeline of relevance in the body we appreciate all of them god's generals both within africa and within the world we truly cherish their contributions but then we must also be careful to know that spiritual knowledge is progressive some of them have long gone to be with the lord and if they were still alive walking with god there are many new things they would have learned are we together many of them made statements that at the level you have to consider their statements versus the level of spirituality at that time but a lot has happened in the realm of the spirit and in as much as we celebrate them we honor them for what they represented to the body and still represent they are foundations they are pillars that no one will destroy but we must also be careful not to camp around their limitations and not continue the process of the training with the holy spirit the, jesus christ left us the holy ghost among other things to to continue to grant us access to what the bible calls present truth present truth there is what is called present truth are we together there is a dimension of god and the way he operated but there is what god is doing now as at the time the bible was written there was no hiv as at the time the bible was written there was no cancer are we together as at the time the bible was written divorce rate was not to this level that means there has to be there is an advancement of the civilization of the dark kingdom and there has to be a corresponding of advancement even in the knowledge of the truth It's important to receive truth, but it's important to not let what you know stop you from receiving what you don't know. Are we together? My life, not many people know about the spiritual dimensions of my life and my experiences. I've only shared very little of them. I've had very strange experiences in my life. I have met so many spirits. I have met so many beings. I have met demons I have met all classes of beings some of them are only beings that you see in films I've had strange encounters and I've had dreams things have happened in my own life there are times that I've sensed the burden to pray and I got up praying and someone will send me a text saying he saw me somewhere and I can't remember leaving my body going anywhere these are very strange phenomena that you, you can't just throw away I remember a, a man of God preaching about a lady years ago who was not a pure human being. I had problem with that teaching at that time. I said, what do you mean? Everybody in the flesh is a pure human being. I said, no. Your culture and my culture, there is somewhere reserved there where they teach that people can come back. It is their little way of attempting to explain certain phenomena they have seen people even in our world today there have been all kinds of spiritual experiences children have been born who will tell you stories of world war world war one world war two and describe it in detail and the parents are watching them how old are you you are four years but the level of intelligence is not of this civilization and they have come to us to ask answers they have gone to uh, hindu baha'i and all kinds of religions the church has the answer to all this but we are lazy and many times not spiritual enough and not flexible enough that's the word we have already clamped ourselves ar around certain dimensions and we will not allow the spirit to be flexible enough to stretch us until we see what is true I have prayed for people I have seen strange things in my life I've seen anointed men and women of God manifest under demon spirits to my amazement anointed people I remember years ago a gentleman I don't know if he's from Kaduna or one of these states very anointed man of God I remember him coming to see me for counseling because things were not working in his life at a point ministry just went down there were all kinds of troubles this guy entered all kinds of troubles within the space of one or two months and someone recommended that he'd come and see me and so he came 
and as soon as he entered my room then i saw a strange being enter with him this is a very anointed person and then i wanted to just talk to him you know about this he said no 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 don't talk to me about any demon sir just agree with me i just came for a higher anointing i was trying to tell him you are there arguing i'm 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 seeing it like i'm seeing you and i said okay no problem can you allow me just pray for you and the gentleman okay sluggishly and arrogantly like we men of god do i barely touched this brother's head and he almost scattered everything in that room coughing out manifesting all kinds of things by the time that guy was done and he got up i think for like three days he kept sending me texts he said apostle you have scattered my entire theology to its foundation a man of god delivering people praying for them ministering under the power of god now i come in contact with another man of god and i wake up five minutes later having littered the place sweating around what happened what is the mystery behind the challenge in our families that we gather together and pray to the god of heaven oh lord attend to us and while we are praying the matter is going from bad to worst then we sow a seed then we do this and that what what is the explanation behind the patterns in families they look like coincidences but you, no matter how long it seems to catch up with people there are families listen carefully please listen with an open heart there are families you will never get married first until you have a child out of wedlock no matter how careful you are it has nothing to do with being bad or being evil some of them are pastors some of them are leaders what of poverty there are cities you enter and you find out that things go bad there are cities when you enter you will become broke immediately not more than one month no matter how hard working you are you enter those cities just stay for a little time except you sustain an intelligence higher you can be earning one million per month after 10 years you will still stay in a rented house it's not the occurrence of men there are deeper mysteries than our eyes can see there are other cities no matter how careless you are you can enter within a short time and you will anything even if it's selling salt it will prosper you to the point that those who are prosperous cannot exactly tell you what they are doing there are men of God that leave certain cities and go to certain cities and it's as if they are no longer anointed everything scatters and they wonder what happened God boy you sent me here there are families when you get to a particular age range it's like an equation is activated in the spirit something starts happening patterns of sicknesses patterns of failure we have pretended they don't exist we have attempted to shut our mouths and say don't worry you just keep believing things will happen you approach life like that you are going to be frustrated are we together the same way there are people who are born and a small child of two years is already seeing visions daddy i saw this mommy i saw this that child has not had the opportunity to give his life to christ yet the father sees the mother sees the sister see even the drunkard brother sees visions and not even the drunkenness took away the vision he can be in a beer parlor and see an accident happening somewhere and say it like that yet you are here fasting lord open my eyes after 40 days dry the only thing you see is a spirit that comes to oppress you something is wrong how about people going to bed in the night and a spirit appears and sleeps to, with them it's happening to many of you it's just that people have been trained to keep quiet how will i say this embarrassment you get up knowing that something has happened to you someone wants to bless you you go back in the night to sleep and something happens whether it's an animal whether a human being it was here in koinonia someone was injected in a dream with hiv and he got up physically with hiv from a dream the same way solomon received an understanding heart from a dream and woke up physically with it 
people had seen themselves dying in dreams and they kept laughing and two weeks later truly they died what is this mystery that surrounds us every day can't someone give us intelligence enough not to create fear but to help us understand what is this whole thing mother was raped a young lady raped now you have daughters and somebody it makes a house help to have to come and rape the small girl and you look and say no all these people were not connected something seemed to have connected them from the realm of the spirit how about students who are about to write final paper last exam last everything all of a sudden they find a piece of paper on the ground and say stand up you you have done malpractice and because of that they just drive them away do you think it's natural does it look natural to you how about those who receive salary listen carefully many well-meaning hard-working civil servants there are many people who were trained in our own houses and they are the ones feeding our parents till today they came as children they were trained in the same house they got up prospered and built houses and they are still bringing welfare and giving people there are many of us you enter a street and the way it was when you were 10 years is still the way it is now try to build a house there and watch what happens something is wrong someone has got to explain to us what is this mystery around our lives there are families where all the men die mysteriously sometimes in a two two year cycle a three three year cycle a man can be sitting in his house quietly do you think all these spray bullets that happen in america that somebody just stands and just shoots and shoots some people don't you ever they they have to create an explanation oh this was emotionally imbalanced it's a lie it's a lie spray bullets just do everything and kill five of your family members alone and the thieves go for no reason there is an explanation my assignment this month is to open your eyes some of you will call your loved ones and say daddy we need to meet as a family this is it are we together my father is the only one alive of all his brothers I knew that my father would have died since nobody I don't know who is the most prosperous person from my paternal lineage with all humility i think it may be me can you imagine that they are not lazy a, a whole lineage and the most educated person just finished secondary school no matter how hard working you've seen them bring people here there was a time a mother brought a, a dear lady here 500 level medicine she started developing signs of bipolar and now the girl just went mad let that lady leave 10 years later when her life is almost useless the madness will go by itself brothers and sisters if we don't wake up the devil is going to destroy us hear what i'm telling you there are ladies the moment a guy comes to say i love you just that i love you something must happen i want to go and see your parents accident breaks his leg destroys him and all of a sudden they will go to a prophet and because many times prophets don't have that word balance as should be they will interpret things from the lens of their limited understanding and say look i'm seeing that that girl is a witch i'm seeing that she comes from a family that is a witch there is a gentleman in this ministry i think that dad just went to be with the lord he was a priest with an altar they were supposed to bring the altar here for destruction when i was counseling that time i when i used to counsel people would come with their charms they would come with their charms beautiful lady nobody ever i'm not even saying that somebody cannot come to marry you to ask you out there are ladies nobody has ever tried to ask you out wear anything and look nice there is something wrong in this series i'm going to be showing you something i discovered joshua caused jericho say whoever builds it will build it with the blood of his firstborn and complete it with the blood of his lastborn i will show you a king who tried to build jericho and his firstborn died and as he finished his lastborn died joshua had long gone oh, 
yet it was still working there that everything was working in Jericho except the water that had become Mara it had become bitter Joshua said bring me salt something is wrong ah. to break every chain 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 listen there are families that their warfare almost never ends they don't know why from one trouble to another today your father is in a police station as soon as he's finishing he's going to court as soon as he's done they are implicating him in the office as soon as he's done they stay up from your shop as soon as they are trying to manage the daughter gets pregnant then the brother starts taking something there is a pattern that is responsible for that nothing just happens there are families where it is the women that feed the men no matter how hard working you are as a man your hand will not bring bread back home i have met people i know they are not lazy i know they are not lazy what of people who travel and go abroad and the devil just orchestrates it that the security just catches them one person and they deport them back they didn't do anything wrong the only person who was helping the mother in the village and all the siblings now the guy was going to a mall and police just catches him and said there was a robbery here and they where are you from nigeria go back and the person returns back to the village from where he came from and you will see an old man laughing in the village and say i told you no matter where you go you will come back the old man doesn't have visa he's never gone to the airport but he can make a man leave italy and come back and sit down and then we get up and say don't worry everything will be all right come on now there is a deliverer that must arise i i know i know the business i did with god in deep waters to break what i am doing now the level of success in my life is is almost a taboo from my paternal side i never saw anybody rise like that my father is a good man one of the most honest men i've met in my life there are families anyone you train nobody will ever become anything useful nobody there are some of our parents they started sending children to school before you were born but out of the over 30 children not one of them is useful today the most useful person is sweeping the road somewhere what is that I hear the chains falling. Shabala katos kabrandishi ala. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. Hallelujah. There are families where nobody ever becomes a leader, no matter how you rise you only make it by serving you never get to a point where you are served a man can work for 10 years when he's almost getting to the highest rank a scandal will come up that he knows nothing about they demote him until he retires my brother my sister nothing just happens our destinies have been manipulated by forces we may not know and just because of imbalances here and there which i will show you many have rejected this some of you as you are sitting now i just described your life to you you know you love god you are praying but nothing is changing nothing is changing you are praying you are fasting nothing is changing i know somebody that did like four or five universities never finished one never you leave this one and go there they say you are an occultist you leave this one and go there they say something happened to your result your result is not correct you leave this one and go there and there is problem not i'm opening your eyes i'm showing you how this relates to you a gentleman sent me a text he had gotten his visa he got everything he got yellow card yellow card at the airport is where they stopped him and said where did you get this yellow card did you get I said, what is all this one now i used a travel agency i'm traveling I said no took the guy to custom office 
blah 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 this and that happened they seized the passport sent him back footballer footballer that was going had already gotten those teams that can invite you to go and play this guy was god was sending him to now bring bread for the parents and at the airport one devil somewhere just stops that person he will return back the house you are staying is the house your grandfather stayed for 40 years your father could not build one you too you are staying there have you seen families where all the brothers with their married wives stay in the same house with the parents and the grandparents is that what the bible says doesn't the bible say a man should leave his father and mother but you leave something brings you back grandfather is in the same house grandmother is in the same house the brother is in the even as a pastor part of the veranda is being used for night vigil and regardless of the night vigil and the prayer nothing is happening how many vigils have we done how many prayer sessions have we done how many men of God have been in ministry and you will think being in ministry will automatically get them free from this regardless of their ministry and anointing this spirit seemed to just veto them just like that Abraham as anointed as Abraham was for 25 years Abraham had no child it's not just a faith issue because you see it in Isaac Abraham slept with Hagar once and a child came so it was not just about barrenness he was not barren it was a conspiracy it was a fight of destiny are you getting what I'm saying now could you say that Abraham was Abraham was not impotent Hagar was there gave him a child and yet Sarah could not give him a child 25 years Isaac with his own too are we together now all kinds of troubles by the finger of the devil have you paid attention to look at your life what of the hardship the inexplainable hardship that is in our lives hardship there is no ease at all no matter what you do you are brilliant you are educated you started working by 23 you already had phd yet nothing is happening that's the finger of satan and for many of us we have seen it in dreams but you see it in dreams and get up and say no 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 don't worry let me just ignore it i don't think anything is right some of you cannot go to bed in the night i've shared with you my story when i will go to bed in the night and demons will come to press me as a man of god though i'm not saying an unbeliever filled with the holy spirit and these demons will not respect this anointing i will go to bed in the night and these demons will come and press me i will shout jesus like i was told to shout not one time did jesus drive them i mean something is wrong because the bible cannot lie there is something we need to know when the lord showed me i was free oh, and my assignment is that god will open your eyes so that you will see some of you will be surprised that after this series all the seven jobless people in one month will get jobs like that so you will now know that until deliverance happens upon mount zion there is no possession of anything oh i will help you bring your cv it's nonsense you are wasting your time how many people have gotten scholarships eh, Jimmy? how many people have gotten grants how many people have gotten millions some of our parents have sat down on over one billion but as it is right now they can't bring out hundred thousand it's not normal let me tell you if this thing is not addressed i promise you it can wait for you for 40 years and catch up with you you will think just because you are 25 years 30 35 you are free the day it catches up with you how about people who labor when they are about to eat of their labor they just mysteriously whether through sickness or accident or whatever inexplainable coincidence nobody ever eats of their labor they work and live for others now 
please don't feel bad if what I'm saying relates to your loved ones. God is opening your eyes because you are the Savior that will arise from Zion. Some of us today, our mothers have told us, don't ever bring a poor man. Do you know why? Because of something that they saw. There is a yoke upon their family. All the women suffer. They enter wicked marriages where they suffer like slaves. And so in an attempt to help you, say, look, go and bring a rich man. Bring as prosperous a man as you can get. And don't be free from what I'm telling you. And watch the drama that happens when that ring enters your heart. This is what I do every day. It's like a lecturer that has been teaching. If my life did not experience this, it would be that I'm just talking because of people. I've been a victim of what I'm sharing for you. That look, study the ministries in Zaria. They don't reach three years safely. Something must arise and happen. Find out how many men of God have been in this city for many years. And look at the track record that follow. It's not that they are bad. There are spirits. There are powers. There are yokes. And if our eyes are not open to it, then we are getting into trouble. Are you ready to pray again? I'd like you to say, Lord, in this series, the challenge in my life and my family must come to end. Shandala masada bakuriata. Hallelujah. I have met spirits in my life. Sit down. I've met all kinds of spirits. The first time I met a physical demon spirit. Physical. It was inside the campus. ABU there. There was a generator there. It was in the night. I was praying alone. I'm not talking vision. This is not vision. I just went to the side of that generator. And all of a sudden. I saw a being standing and he shouted at me, Get back! What? Spontaneously, I began to pray in tongues. And that was it. Somebody that is physical, just like a student, just disappeared. Went like that. That's when I said, This is serious. This one, this is serious. So we are not alone. This is serious. I have met spirits, I have met devils. Sometimes you just see me preaching and do my mad thing. I can just keep quiet and start rebuking. I don't have to tell you everything I'm seeing. But you see, let me tell you. Everywhere believers are gathered, all kinds of things happen. Some of us, there are things that follow you. What do you think happens to you when you are in the room and you keep looking back? You know there is someone. You are not lying. Your spirit knows you are not alone. You are sleeping and you, you are just afraid for reasons you can't explain. You are an adult, so you are not supposed to be afraid the spirit of a man is powerful the spirit of a man is like an antenna you can pick something you may not explain it but you can pick it you can be lying down and know that death is around what is there is death this is not just discernment the human spirit even animals souls animals can start backing there are all kinds of scientific explanations before any hurricane, the animals run. It's only men that remain there and die like chickens. Birds relocate. The fishes relocate. Only men remain there and we die like chickens. How demons operate, right? How do they operate? What is the system of operation in a demonic kingdom? What, what is the basis? How do they operate? 
what has made them so powerful like this what has made them so powerful that from Asia to the US to the UK to the Middle East to Africa it looks like there are networks of operation that keep men in a common captivity same problem regardless of location what sort of orderly civilization is that that they can destroy the lives of people from villages to towns to cities and all of that we have not been able to build a network that has covered the whole world like that they can be strong in regions yet the devil has built an arsenal that for as long as you are upon the face of this earth there is a system of reaching you there are three main ways three main ways that demons and satan listen carefully there are three main ways that demons and satan have access to all men including believers only three from the authority of scripture there are only three ways number one write it down covenants number one covenants hmm. covenants let's talk about it please look up you can get my teaching the altar of prayer listen to it it will bless you covenants for most of us all we know about covenants is just the old and the new testament that um you know the old testament a foreshadow of the new and the new and so on and so forth as wonderful as that is that is not the only idea about covenants write this down please a covenant is a system of authorization a covenant is a system of authorization between two or more people a covenant is a system of authorization between two or more people ratified by the mystery of blood ratified by or with whichever the mystery of blood with mutual advantages if kept with mutual advantages if kept and severe consequences if violated with mutual advantages if kept and severe consequences if violated that's a covenant a system of agreement a system of authorization between two or more people or persons it's possible that it, it, it can be a covenant between a spirit being are we together now that the basis of that covenant that is usually ratified by blood is to create a system where there is mutual benefit where the terms well defined the well-defined terms of that covenant are kept and then with severe consequences listen the concept of covenant predates old and new testament you have to understand this the concept of covenant predates old and new testament A system of agreement you read Genesis 1 you see a lot of things that God did there are we together and that God signified lights to do certain things to the earth are we together now and they've seen being in obedience there is a system a covenant with the earth that the earth will produce after its kind you don't sow mango and reap banana under no condition are we together if you sow mango you don't have to tell the earth earth may is mango i sow. no you just plant mango and it will reap after its kind very accurately noah read an altar in genesis chapter 8 and the bible tells us that god smelled a sweet sever and god made a covenant of seed time and harvest signified with the rainbow is that true 
many other covenants happen listen there are personal covenants there are territorial covenants it's not just a covenant of old and new testament in the bible people had personal covenants with god very personal covenants lord let us agree that this level of assistance comes to me and if you do this to me some of the covenants had one time conditions and benefits after it, it was gone there were covenants in the bible that the bible would tell you this is for an everlasting covenant everlasting are we together now yes so there are all kinds of covenants an agreement between two or more people that has mutual benefits are we together if obeyed if complied and has a disaster many families africa as a continent is amazing is amazing how with the number of churches there are more churches than there are companies in africa yet the economy has not grown yet many things have not happened our soil is the most productive of all soils in all the seven continents yet in the midst of it israel israel unbelievers who don't love god they farm on top of mountains and yet they export food and we eat it here those while they are farming they are insulting god yet there is a covenant upon their land that commits God to bless them they can talk nonsense against the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob you would think God will arise in his fury and curse them how about the Ishmaelites the covenant with Abraham that Ishmael became a partaker of forget the fact that he was a child born out of I don't know what he was illegitimate or whatever it is still covenant because remember when Ishmael was crying and Hagar was crying, heaven had only the voice of Ishmael. And God came to the rescue because of Ishmael. And that Abrahamic blessing is still at work till today. Strangely. Look at the Middle East. A small nation with oil that is greater than that of Nigeria. Very pockets of nations. Yet their economy in strange ways is not normal. My brother, my sister, it's not normal. Are we together? The first system of authorization that we know on earth that authorizes both God and more importantly for our discussion tonight, demon spirits, is covenant. I will take out time to explain all those ones. Number two, write it down. The second system of authorization is disobedience 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 is a force in the spirit just like obedience is a force disobedience is a force it can do things obedience is a force it can make things happen Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1 the Bible says and it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command thee this day it says that the Lord thy God will set thee on high there is a condition above all the nations of the earth verse 2 and all these blessings will pursue you and overtake you are we together now if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord verse 3 begins to list the blessings blessed shall thou be in the city blessed shall thou be in the field blessed shall be your kneading trough the full of your body are you seeing it there now obedience for the blessing of the fruit of your body and the fruit of your ground the fruit of your cattle the increase of this and that and that go to verse 13 and the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail thou shalt be above only and thou shalt not be beneath if thou shalt hearken if thou shalt hearken to the commands of the Lord and all of that you now begin to read from verse 14 read down it says but if you do not hearken this list of causes shall come upon you he said and shall not go aside we read it down and then it tells you the list of many bad things let's see a few of them uh, let's try 16 cause shall thou be in the city are you seeing the opposite now 
who is speaking God cause shall thou be in the field 17 cause shall be thy basket a man had a dream he was holding three baskets on his head you call that breakthrough but Joseph said ah this dream means in three days the beds that you will be hanged if you saw yourself with basket with food in the dream would you get up and dance but a basket can be cursed the guy was having three baskets and the beds came and ate it here's joseph's interpretation in three days the pharaoh will finally conclude on you they are going to catch you they will hang you and the beds will eat your flesh cause shall be thy basket and thy store let's read to 20 and we'll stop there cause shall be the fruit of your body intelligent people what is the fruit of your body talk to me what is the fruit of your body are you seeing that now and the fruit of your land the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep 19 cause shall thou be when thou come in whether in america or nigeria cause shall thou be when thou go out in case you think the problem is when The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, families, rebuke in all that thou settest thy hands for to do until thou be destroyed and until thou perish. How fast? Because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. Just leave it there. Disobedience. The blood of Jesus does not give authorization or it does not excuse the, the force of disobedience is still at work. The same way the force of obedience is still at work. Are we together? The Bible says a cause causeless shall not stand, but a cause that has a cause shall stand. This is a description of many lives and many families, although we will not admit it. But it's very clear that this is a description of many lives and many destinies. Obedience. Obedience. Disobedience. I hope you know that there is a spirit that works in men to make them disobey. Because Satan knows that until you are assisted by a spirit, you can't disobey sufficient to allow him to have access, access to your life. Consistent disobedience is being empowered by a spirit. There is a spirit that works. You can't call. Let me tell you, human beings are not so bad. When somebody walks in disobedience and rebellion perpetually, there is a spirit that assists you. Authorization. Number three. The third authorization is ignorance. 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 Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18. Ignorance. These are the tripartite systems. The systems, the access, the only access points that Satan has. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18. Let me quote it. It says, having their understanding darkened. Then it says, alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. So what is the situation here? Having their understanding darkened. There is no understanding. Then it says as a result, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. It said because of the blindness of their heart. That means a man who is in ignorance, a woman who is in ignorance, or a state of insufficient understanding, is a gate pass to Satan and his demons to come and destroy and shred your life into pieces. Let me tell you this. Much more than causes uh, and covenants, much more than disobedience, this is where many well-meaning people come to. They have worked well to break causes in their lives. They have worked well to receive grace for obedience. But they have not obtained grace for spiritual intelligence to know what to do. Psalms 82 verse 5. Psalms 82 and verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They know not, neither will they understand. 
they walk on in darkness are you seeing that now and all the foundations of the earth are out of course verse 6 says have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high verse 7 says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes ignorance not knowing what to do the bible says jesus himself knew what to do these three access points listen all the chaos you see in the world is predicated upon these three a covenant that has authorized satan to come into lives and families on a legal basis and let me tell you this maybe next week i will explain to you how they individually work but let me give you a little appetizer covenants are not casted you don't cast and in the name of jesus i cast that covenant no this is where we mock ourselves come promise look at this if promise god forbid just an example right if promise is a thief and this is my phone watch this and promise wants to quickly pick the phone and run away if he hears my footsteps coming what will he do he will run because he's a thief are we together but if promise gave somebody money who claimed that this phone is his own and promise wants to pick it what do you think will happen if he sees me coming a legal transaction occurred he's not going to run he will pick it and i say leave my phone he say what is that it has to take another person to come and settle us i can't push him and say go away there must be a legal basis of proving that the phone is mine the spirits that buffet our families have accessed our families through covenants they are not illegal occupants they were covenanted intentionally our fathers called them for assistance come and help us in the time of war come and help us and they say what is the agreement the agreement is that all our children will serve you and then some missionaries just flew from from america and just came and died of malaria is it malaria that really killed them come on africa talk to me is it malaria that really killed them no sir let's be wise it can't be malaria they had the gospel of salvation but the missionaries did not know the gospel of the kingdom are we together now the gospel of salvation a revelation of the father's love through the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus and that's what they came to do and all of a sudden they saw a shrine and said destroy it and leave it and they just kicked the pot and the missionary died two days later are we together now some of us carried certain pots and certain instruments of covenant and destroyed them and believed that we are free they say now everything is destroyed everybody just give thanks and go and they laugh at you from the realm of the spirit the bible says that when a strong man comes to a house and lays claim of a possession it says it will take one greater than he to come and dislodge him and collect those possessions is that true this is what we do not understand there are legal manifestations for as long let me tell you even your salvation did not stop you from looking like your biological father you didn't get born again and suddenly changed to look like an angel in spite of your being born again they can still see you and say uh -uh, are you so 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 son that blood that genetics is still in force if you looked at jesus and you looked at mary you will know ah is this your mother i say yes now in the flesh are we together that was the reason why when jesus resurrected and when john saw him in revelation john could not recognize him on earth they could recognize him of course this is mary's son no it was not a thing of controversy but now they saw him in a radiance they said what is this now who is this one covenants have destroyed us the north has covenants listen carefully the south has covenants the east has covenants listen carefully brothers and sisters northern and hear me beloved brothers and sisters we are not just lazy for nothing there is a spirit making it happen are we together now i don't mean to be sarcastic easterners 
when they say you love money so much it's not an insult there is a spirit responsible for that thing sound and answer. the same thing all of us were like that if you see any man that is not affected by those things he has tapped into another dimension that has corrected it that's the goal of this series to help you tap into something that all of a sudden will set you free and you will rise and your children will say daddy we used to hear that people who come from this place they are like this and you say son something happened on the way before you were born there was a long story i attended koinonia and something happened some things were corrected once and for all once and for all there is an ordinance in the spirit that without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sin when the father himself wanted to redeem men he could not violate that he couldn't save man with a divine proclamation after all it was his own creation he could say man i declare you free woman i declare you free that's it and it would have been over however the word didn't come as a spirit to say oh yeah quickly nail me let me die he became a child and grew because if you must function in this kingdom aside from adam and if you must grow whoever comes and appears must return back are we together let me tell you anybody that does not grow in this kingdom cannot stay more than a certain period of time you have to leave that's why when angels come in the bodies of men they cannot stay in their physical body for long they must translate the same way if you are out of your body in a vision or in a, a, a supernatural experience there is a time lapse that you must return back to your body otherwise if you don't your spirit will not be able to return back again occultists will tell you this those who have visionary encounters will tell you there were prophets who were in the spirit having encounters they returned back and they were sick they were sick for many days because they were almost losing it look at people who came back from the dead the first thing is give them food read your bible when people came back to life jesus said go and get food and give them because they would be so weak their spirit had separated for a long time if they don't give them food the spirit will go back Is God helping us to understand? Covenants. 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 Our fathers innocently came. And this is what they told them. Just give your life to Jesus Christ. And the moment you do it, everything is gone. Now, brothers and sisters, I have taught you two dimensions of operating in the kingdom. There is the prophetic dimension of the speakings of God. There is the prophetic dimension of the word. Realities from God's standpoint. And there is the experience of that reality. Are we together? In the eye of God, there should be nobody in Shika right now. In the mind of God, no doctor should have a job praying for the sick. Are we together? Because none, in, no inhabitant in the same Zion will say, I am sick. But he didn't tell you what is the dynamics that will keep them healthy. He just told you they would say, they would not say, I am sick. Are we together? But you go to Shika now and see people who are sick. That does not mean God lied. There is something we don't understand. In the mind of God, nobody should go to hell again. Right from when Jesus resurrected. Talk to me, are there still people going to hell? Who created the hell? Satan? No! God is still watching them. In the mind of God, there is enough supply by the power of the Holy Spirit. But there are children still crying in Sudan today. These children are crying in Sudan. They are crying until they get to a state of coma. Yet God is still sitting on his throne. Can't he get up? Where was the bread that the angel sent that came and fed Israel? Be careful when you just assume that some things are done if god is to show mercy just like that the first is to go to sudan and help those children first before he comes to you we make costly assumptions i'm all right everything is okay with me and the devil says i like this generation you just continue and sometimes you know we are very deceived because the moment our hands touch money most people think they are delivered because they have money the moment you have financial resources because you see in this our world is driven by economy the moment you have money 
there are many things you can do with money money is also a force are we together with money you can build a house with money you can travel for a medical trip with so because of that they don't sense the the weight of the spiritual consequences and so because of the abundance of financial resources they will tell you i'm all right you keep watching you will start seeing things that money cannot do and money cannot buy they told you the blessings that this covenant will bring but they didn't tell you the consequences that follow when they, they are violated all of a sudden your innocent father and mother just got up and said as for me and my family i will serve the lord and although the altars and those who did them are gone but the altars and the covenant still stand what did you say you would do you will not serve these idols again yes i will serve jehovah the god of heaven all right on legal terms we bring before the heavenly council the report this was the agreement the realm of the spirit is a legal realm hear what i'm teaching you the realm of the spirit is a legal realm when abel died the blood of abel could not kill cain automatically it had to bring a petition why didn't cain just die immediately no the soul that sins he shall die so when abel died why didn't his blood just no 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 the blood had to cry before god god had to summon cain cain there is a case before you here the blood is the witness in the tabernacle of heaven what of the redemption of men jesus after dying here had to carry the blood to the tabernacle father here is the blood i have brought and the father said that's correct now put that blood upon the tabernacle you see these are the like the justice systems of the kingdom so these spirits can stand and say look this is it it's an agreement it's on this many of you think that when the demons present this to god god will say no i died already my blood is speaking no if that were so then you didn't need to confess jesus to be saved the blood that was shed should just save you automatically why did you need to come and verbalize and enter into that personal agreement for it to work for you there are strong reasons and there are cases you must present and these spirits by themselves not even jesus christ overrode them he went through the required system now he has become the head of principalities he didn't cancel them he is the head of all of them they are still there he has only risen above them it's in your bible is god helping us we are going to pray these are truths that i have seen why is it that regardless of the blood of jesus there are still people today you go to the village go to zaria city and someone will sit down and concoct a charm for you and you will carry that charm and go and do something and it will work and god is still there on his throne watching how many people have used divination to do business and they prospered part of their charm made you go to their shop and you bought you bought something and he said from today i'll start buying eggs from you and yet there is a horn hanging in front of that shop and the day you were angry at the man you still went back again praying in tongues while you are going to go and buy the eggs terrorists sit down and make enchantments in the realm of the spirit and they go and their agenda is achieved no power stops them not military might not anything brothers and sisters something is wrong we must understand the power we have trivialized covenants too much we have trivialized it i'm not planting fear remember this only part one don't stop here if you stop here you are being greatly destroyed because the just this teaching alone will produce a lot of imbalance in your life until you hear the other versions so you don't stop at what you have heard now i always balance my teaching i'm opening your eyes tonight to the reality of these truths to say they are not real is flattery my life refused to rise until i address these things 
Hallelujah. My grandfather was a reverend. He lived and died serving God. They were part of those who hosted the missionaries, the early missionaries that came to the north. You would think that would change my life automatically. It didn't. Too. It didn't. Let me ask you a question. You look at this place and you see people sitting outside. I was so touched. Regardless of the rain, beating people here and the discomfort, many of them patiently stood at the window and everything finished and they went to drop their chairs and sit down. Is that normal for people to do? Do you think people have that time to income? What, what, is, what is the big deal about me? No, it's more than what your eyes see. The same way you can prepare a table and call guests and nobody comes is in the Bible. Prepare a table. Somebody said, I just married my wife, please. I need to spend time with her. And what happens there? I just built a house. And Jesus said, Okay, go and compel them. It's called anakazu. The power that compels. Are we together? That a man can do business with God and a covenant can empower a man to rise in a strange way i read a documentary about a niche a particular nation in middle east hey, Jimmy, their hair is five meters long five meters all of them not just one old person that's how they are five meters long long hair like that no matter who you are once you are a lady and you are born there you must have that long hair it's not normal the same way people get they give birth to you um i i schooled somewhere years ago where if you gave birth to a child before you start breastfeeding the child you would touch alcohol with your finger and put it in the child's mouth you will first taste it before breast milk and you'll be wondering why the child will will not be able to do anything wrong with a, a, a i'm not insulting cultures we are all in this this is africa what of some of you before you get married they tie black ropes on trees and tell you to dance around them you are in a hurry to marry and you don't know what happened you are just dancing how long they just dance and they do all kinds of things they send spirits with you and they tell you that the purpose of that thing is to send spirits to protect you it may be well-meaning and then you just look and say i don't want any nonsense spirit to protect me and all of a sudden you enter your room in the night and a dirty slap on your face you don't see the hand but you know it's physical and then you start seeing images of grandfather grandmother one ancestor that has gone some of you may even be your physical parents notice what happens when you run back to tell your parents that dream you just tell them i saw a man with a mark on his face he told me to come to him your father will keep quiet and look at your mother and say it's all right they'll say he's back home is back because they know they know exactly what it means is the reason why we don't succeed look at the amount of well-meaning nigerians who never succeed they go through the rigors of the 364 system and hold their certificate run to abuja no way run to Jos, run to lagos go abroad no way and then they finally go to some of these countries as graduates with mscs and all they are doing is scrubbing toilets and then another person encounters comes into a ministry as a territory that has a covenant with god and just enters that ministry and in two months things change in his life and the person is wondering what happened and for that two months maybe the man of god has not even been around you step into another thing the ark of obed edom remember the ark of god and dagon until the ark came dagon was always standing but when they dropped dagon side by side they found out by the next day that dagon fell face forward something will fall in your life and 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 you will know that something has fallen I don't want to go ahead of myself you can always know when the deliverance power of god has worked the simple litmus test is strange results the moment results begin to come on him that is a sign that something has given way but except that power comes 
you can stand like this and it will block you almost forever some of you are moving physically but you are bound let me show you one scripture and then we'll pray isaiah 61 let's just find somewhere to stop tonight isaiah 61 the spirit of the lord is upon me who is speaking who is speaking please because the lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek now look at the categories of people jesus was sent to he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to who the captives and the opening of prison that means there are physical people who are walking on two legs but in the realm of the spirit they are prisoners you are moving physically but in the realm of the spirit you are in the same spot and very soon your life will show you you are in the same spot all your achievements will reduce back and you will see that after 10 years you are in the same spot You're, you are increasing in education you are increasing in business you are increasing in everything but your result is remaining there there is captivity the bible calls them lawful captives lawful captives who is a lawful captive he was sent in captivity legally 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 brothers and sisters i wish i didn't have to be the one telling you this but it's a truth i have to tell you some of you seated here looking at me right now hearing me online as I speak to you now, your families are in need of deliverance. As individuals, you are in need of deliverance. You are in need of the power of God. Not a temporary deliverance. I'm going to be teaching you next week that it is possible to have a temporary deliverance. Yes, it is. It is very possible because the bible says that i hold the keys of david and i can open a door that no one can shut that means there are doors you can open and can be shut again is it in your bible that the doors will be open day and night and shall not be shut meaning if it's open and when your destiny helpers are coming it's shut they have not they go back the doors can open and can shut but there is something that can keep them open that's only the time you receive the forces of the gentiles because sometimes the door will open and you leave the man of God but before the Gentiles come the door has been closed but there is a mystery that I will teach you it's called the key of David and the Bible says that when a man possesses that key you can open a door and leave it open and no power will shut it I saw this in my life that's why you can go to any city and favor still follows you because it's a master key It's the key of David you are the mighty God. You. you are the glorious God. You are the mighty God. You. you are the glorious God. There are men who are free sit down but the works of their hands are not free as individuals they will prosper but get into anything it will fail there are pastors who are free but their churches are in captivity as a person you are not hungry but your church will never rise there are people who only regional doors open you see the earth has six regions i will teach you this there are six regions of the earth six the number of man the earth has he given to man there are six regions of operation on this earth and if it is not open to you you will know there are regions you go to that you know the door is closed there are northern people who can never go to the south and prevail you can have crowds here you go to the south and you see four five people you come back to your place of territory and the door is open but when the gates are open the bible says talking about the prisoner the jailer he said all doors open all not some not some 
all doors open all doors open all doors open you will thank me many of you are you are uncomfortable with what i'm teaching you now but i promise you what will become of your life you will be too grateful to keep quiet you will say apostle thank you sir thank you so this is the key it will work like fire if you understand what i'm teaching you there is no devil that can put this ministry down the mysteries that surround this ministry are too many let me tell you it's not because the devil cannot come and fight uh -uh. even in the sleep there is something alive it was programmed already it's a system of victory he said now thanks be to god who always causes us to triumph there are systems in the kingdom that when you engage by the grace of God and with all humility there is no region I've gone to that they don't like me because you see there is a key it is not normal for people like that they like you today somebody hates you badly tomorrow somewhere Deliverance. I go to cities that are supposed to be very poor cities I'm, you ask the protocol they travel with me and sometimes I'm sitting at the airport looking at people and here's someone coming to me apostle here is this this is this this is I'm, I'm saying God what are you doing what is all this there's no you can't undo it when that yoke is lifted off your shoulder you will know how light life can be you will know that that burden was not God that put it there the Bible says the yoke the burden those things are heavy it says my yoke is easy and my burden is light hardship is bred is brought about by something there's something sitting on our destinies making a shipwreck of our destinies shipwreck of our lives you call them coincidences but they are programmed programmed by altars programmed by ignorance that's why God sent me to bring this message for now it's sufficient for you to know at least I've begun to give you answers I have not given you the whole answer but you can go back now knowing that so this is what is happening this is why after koinonia I go back home and my parents quarrel me so it's a reaction of a spirit knowing that salvation is coming I now see why when I finish praying and fasting everybody annoys me the day I say I want to fast that's the day even my best friends fight me it's not about the best friends they are monitoring day and night for when salvation will come the operation of familiar spirits we'll talk about that next week the spirits that grow with men and grow with territories the any trace of revival that they see coming there is an attack they discredit the people who try to bring it that's why everybody that is anointed truly to bless people is greatly persecuted greatly hated for a very long time before the truth comes you know why because these dark powers will make men hate you you are coming to cause men to rise there are some of your dear beloved loved ones who may not exactly like me it's not true there's no man who doesn't like me there are spirits there are yokes so now if this lady goes for koinonia she will come back with a revelation and the 150 years captivity in this family is about to go no way let's find a way let's make her discouraged all of a sudden you find out i don't even want to go to this koinonia again and the day that your word comes that's the day you are not around listen I have studied extensively because I don't want to teach people a lie and I don't want to mislead people and confuse them I love you too much I have studied why many people don't rise in life and I'm telling you this is the explanation it's not like you are so dull most of these scientific explanations are not there I didn't always have favor in my life many men of God will not open up and tell you the truth it wasn't always like this I knew the forces that gave way but when they gave way I knew the difference goodness your life will change my brother my sister it will surprise you how do I know I'm under captivity look at the hardship in your life look at everything when results that should happen don't happen something stopped it look at this promise work and come he's supposed to walk normally because nothing should stop him 
now you try to come try to hold him try to drag him at the back while he's coming come promise are you seeing ordinarily he's supposed to have arrived by now but he's doing you can't see what is at his back him too he can't see it but something is holding him this is your destiny by now there are things that should have happened you see it in your dreams that you are you are 10 years behind in what God has told you even in ministry you know that at th this is the level of anointing I should be working in this is the level of favor you you see it in your dream but when you wake up try coming and the yokes say no way you are not going we held your father oh your father was a pastor we held him till we killed him don't you think we will let you go but the Lord sent me by fire and by an anointing that in the name of Jesus the son of the living God that everything sitting on anyone's destiny must drop down tonight that's how my destiny was I saw it happen to my family I saw it happen to well-meaning people I saw it happen within the territory of my growth no one could ever do anything nice today build a house at 25 and see how people will insult you where did you get money from you have started doing something that is fetish you are a demon you are this come by 21 years old and say look god has given me grace oh look at the can look at the house they will first step back and say how old are you 21 mm -hmm. sit down something is wrong we have been so held back we don't even know what speed looks like again come promise he's been held back this is you enter your new level in ministry you are standing there enter your new level ha. customers want to come and something diverts them they don't even know why they hate you your shop is like is like mara bitter water you just carry anointing oil and pour it there and the demons laugh say you you think that we are stupid people and you close that shop and do a night vigil ba, 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 ba. by morning the small five minutes sleep here the demons come again to tell you you just wasted your time oh there are mysteries in this kingdom it is not like what you are doing is wrong if you put yam in an attempt to make fried rice is yam needed for fried rice but yam is food many of us are just combining any spiritual thing blood of jesus fire fast yet this anything you must walk circumspectly there is a formula for real deliverance watch this all of a sudden this is a strong man holding this guy and all of a sudden through the greatness of thy power watch this something breaks this for 10 years and in one month this guy just runs even him he's surprised he said no 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 this is not normal why are the helpers suddenly coming where have you been i wanted to come to you once and again but satan listen i wonder where the people that blessed me today were when i was crying and said lord send me help i have loved you i thought just prayer like that is what will solve the problem ah don't miss please don't miss this by the time we get to part three i'm going to show you the mystery of the three witnesses that on earth there are three that bear witness in heaven there are three that bear witness are we together now i will show you how to engage with spiritual intelligence many of you will be surprised i'm teaching you something that has worked in my own life so all of a sudden you find out that your life becomes an unending wonder somebody who should not bless you just comes to bless you a door that should not open just opens as a pastor all of a sudden members start coming from everywhere they start bringing you invitation please can you come there can you come there and you are wondering whereas you can be anointed and you sit down six months nobody is placing a demand on your grace they can say man of god you are so anointed and they leave you like that oh you are such a great doctor every time good things are coming they leave you many of your uncles will come home and say hey and i just gave five people jobs 
you are a graduate i just remembered he didn't just forget he was made to forget because in the spirit there is something called the book of remembrance if that book is not open you will waste your time on earth i'm showing you mysteries my brother my sister if you understand what i'm teaching you you may just look a little controversial but your results will astonish you you will triumph from one level of success to the other some of you I, and I, i'm not saying you should do it but i got to a realm where god will send my account number to people in a dream people are sleeping and god is sending account number sending this bless him in koinonia 70 percent of this ministry is run and funded by people i don't know most of them mysteriously by the finger of god i would have died like a chicken with yokes upon my head imagine the captivity i would have put you inside i would have carried my yoke and curses and brought upon your life and you find out that you are coming here and your life is not moving you go to somewhere and they will tell you that guy this man of god he is the cause for your failure they are not exactly lying they are saying something that is coming from him is what is adding to your fight that's why you find out that people listen carefully look at look at what is happening are you seeing that now listen my brother my sister let me tell you this we're going to pray but i want you in this month of july please give your destiny your attention just settle down are we together now there are lots of imbalances in this subject i've studied it i will balance it for you many of us have gotten things you've gotten it here and there but there's imbalance on both sides my assignment is to create a very sound and balanced view but it is enough for you to know tonight that if your life is not experiencing the liberty the word of god says you are still in mount zion but you are far from your possession until there is real deliverance real deliverance I have prayed for pastors I have prayed for leaders I have prayed for individuals and I've watched their lives shift in remarkable ways I remember some years ago that's why we always pray for those getting married before they get married do you know why I pray for them it's not necessarily because maybe I'm trying to show that I'm the most anointed person it's not it's not pride at all I'm just trying to help them over 80 percent of the people are pre you see a nice wife and her husband just come oh both of you are getting married when in two weeks may god bless you okay let me pray for you i barely lift my hand and starts manifesting that's the spirit keeping quiet when you put a ring you are putting a ring for many people and the spirit will say congratulations finally you have welcomed me to your house because marriage is a covenant that's why you will find out that the man will behave well it's not that he's behaving well the spirit leaves him just go to the marriage and all of a sudden the moment you get married you will see the old him come the smoker arises again the drunkard and you turn and say i thought you were a sweetheart and the guy gives you a dirty slap it's not him he's not alone the, the, the solution is not divorce find where real power is genuine raw power and fire the apex of the power of God is shown in deliverance. A dislodging of light over darkness that somebody can walk away free and all of a sudden, a man that used to be a terrible man just changes. I told you that nobody is intrinsically bad. All these drunkards you see around, all these liars, there is a spirit and the spirit does not go by counseling okay let's counsel young man be nice eh? and he say yes mommy make sure you are nice don't do anything don't steal against you i will never steal you even cry you say thank you you are my boy <laughs> the spirit is outside waiting as soon as the guy comes i will show you the access points he will just step in and all of a sudden that thief wakes up in the night notice how they steal no matter where you hide it the spirit will tell them where it is they don't know it's not that the spirit speaks to them it leads them to where it is you hide money under the carpet he will just stand and look and roll the carpet he didn't just roll it the spirit 
Are we together? My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. I used to stay in area BZ in the, the, the in Ebu there. I remember that night, the night I was tired and I was fed up. Oppression left, right, and center. I said, What is this? Every time it is night, I start becoming afraid because I and my own, you see, it's a terrible thing for your eyes to be open sometimes because my own, I don't see visions as I'm watching you like that. That's how they enter. They don't knock, they don't open the curtain, they just come in in rows like that. And there's me lying down. And my goodness, those spirits press me, they choke me. I'm shouting, Jesus, nothing is happening. Once it's evening like that, do you know to a point that I don't sleep no matter how big the bed is, I will lie down at the edge of the bed so that whatever happens, I will try to push myself to fall. I know what oppression is. It's only a man that loves you that will open up his car like this and tell you the truth. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Sometimes I can sit down I'm hearing two people talking in the physical but to wake up like it's happening to many of you once you go to bed time to wake up ah, it's a struggle you will try to wake up something is you will try and later on you wake up physically and you can't tell anybody anything for how long will that remain don't you know that that is the administration of death I'm about to give you a job and all of a sudden you go to bed and here comes a stranger whether it's a man or a woman a boy or girl come sometimes to sleep with you you can even wake up sometimes physically and know that something has happened and you go to the same office and they say sorry leave this place a lecturer said i will help you let's look at the course you get up have you not seen this happen we are not honest enough that's why god will not you see it is when you are honest and open it's not an embarrassment my brother my sister if i'm not ashamed of telling you my own experience be sincere god has given me a reputation today to the body these messages are going very far if i'm looking at my ego i'll not tell you what i'm telling you now i will just summarize it and round up and tell you i was always fine i'm saying this to comfort people that if the apostle you can admire today the devil did not even spare him then you better listen to what he's saying otherwise your pride will punish you again and again i'm going to be teaching you the dynamics but i remember that night i got tired and fed up i pray someone will get to that stage where you are tired and say lord this can't continue it can't continue again i remember going to cry before god i prayed that time we used to have long tennis court i cried before god that night i said lord you have revealed this thing about my destiny you have to help me and the lord showed me some of the things i'll be showing you now when i found the light brothers and sisters it was raining i ran from that place i ran to bz and i stood outside in front of my room and i begged the spirits to come I didn't cast them out i begged them to come and if you find them anywhere beg them to come if i were lying you would have seen the result in ministry because they will hijack anything that can be hijacked are we together i remember when god started talking to me about finances i, I told you when i was praying and all of a sudden my zinc just opened and i saw a strange being like like um you know how a dinosaur is but the eyes one eye was like the normal human head and the tail had his own life you could disconnect it and he was looking at me with fire and with fury and he just said so you think you can bring god's people into abundance end of discussion i said so this is it this is the spirit that has held the financial destiny of territories of nations regardless of what you study regardless of what you do you will work hard and eat like an elephant there is a force that is sitting but your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by your deliverer
One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. I like you to pair yourselves into three. Find someone who is serious. Anybody who is not praying, leave him alone. Pair yourselves into three. Three, three. And you are going to, for the next two or three minutes, I like you to blast in tongues non-stop. This month of July, we are declaring war over the gates of darkness. Lift your voice and pray that a threefold cord cannot be easily broken. Pray, Koidonia. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Shabarato koto shepegete. Enteke de katabaraka to shabaria. Le ponto soto pero shabaraka ta. Lord, the gates must open. Lord, my destiny must be revived. My spiritual life must be revived. My finances. My family, arise, O oh God of heaven. Shabadakata, Shabadakata, Lakata kata kata. My ministry is time to break forth on the left, on the right. Pray, pray, pray. Hallelujah. 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 You are going to pray. You are still holding the hand of the person. Father, enough is enough. What kept my father? Kept my mother. Lord, I come by the message of God. It must break in my life. Lift your voice and cry. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, enough is enough. Enough of failure. Enough of poverty. Enough of burying my loved ones. Something has to break loose. Enough of struggling ministry. Enough of struggling my spiritual life. Pray, pray, pray. Let fire burn in this place. 
place. Let fire burn in this place. Let fire burn in this place. Pray. Shaka ta 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 ta. Raka ta ba ta shata. Every kete kete ne kotos. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Let this month be a month of intense prayer. Listen. Listen. Let me teach you something. When you are teaching on spiritual warfare, it is important to be extremely prayerful because you are touching the very nerve of the realm of the spirit. Listen. I'm teaching you spiritual intelligence. Don't let food cheat you in this season. Because it's not a one-time thing that you are doing this night. I'm going to give you an assignment now. Let me tell you this month, something must break open. I, I came angry. This mystery, understand it once and for all and be free. Hallelujah. Right. I want to give you an assignment now. Those under the anointing, just guide them. Do you believe in night prayers? Do you pray in the night? If I give you an assignment, will you do it? Anybody? <laughs> I want to, I want to, I want to plug you into a deep, deep mystery. It's not just night prayer. You just listen. The night time is a mystery in the realm of the spirit. 24 hour is counted from night to morning not morning till night in the physical we count our day from morning to night in the realm of the spirit it is on the evening and the morning a day starts officially in the night not in the morning are we together and the second mystery you need to know is that the night time is likened to a woman who is ready to be pregnant are we together now the night time is like a woman who is ready to receive seed that's why people die in the night somebody that could survive in the day once it gets to the night they start looking at you and by night they are gone if you can be 
obedient to do what I'm telling you, my brother, my sister, you'll be surprised. Just, it, will, it won't be long. Just 15 minutes. Can you do that? Every night. Huh? From this night till we finish this series. Who will do it? 15 minutes. Anytime. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, whatever. Just try to make sure. You will see how the devil will fight you with sleep. All of a sudden. 11.30 you are feeling as if no matter what you need to do. Tell the devil you are a liar. Blast in tongues. Huh? You can play one coin on your message if you want. Anyone at all. And blast in tongues for that 15 minutes. And I want you to pray. Are you getting what I'm saying? Cry that by the mercy of God. I know I've not taught you on the mystery of mercy. I'm going to, when I teach you on deliverance, I will now teach you on the forces of deliverance. One of it is the mystery of mercy. If mercy does not visit you, there can be deliverance. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her, yet the set time. Don't miss this series. But for now, I'd like you to pray. Don't be careless. You don't have, don't do it like a ritual. Do it with revelation. This is not some occultic ritualistic thing. But please, I beg you in the name of the Lord, discipline yourself to do this. And many of you will see what will happen. From this night, if you can, just get up. If you have a roommate, explain to the roommate. Say, please don't be angry if you hear me praying. You don't have to pray and harass people and disturb people so that they don't arrest you. But I'd like you to pray. Find a message. Sit down. That's why God gave you a phone. Put all of these things. Please hear what I'm telling you. Just do it every day, non stop. You can wake yourselves. Are we together? You can wake up and wake someone else. Do this thing every night. You won't do it forever. Just do it from now. I promise you, from now before Friday. Even if you have been praying in the night before, just do what I'm asking you to do. Ah! Many of you, the first one or two nights, you will see the visions you will see. Those spirits will rise up with anger. Who is doing this? Who is touching a nerve? You will see it in your dreams. Don't be discouraged. Some of you, as you pray, you will see dreams where they are oppressing you. It's a sign that this thing you are doing is don't worry about whatever you see. Let me give you a side effect. Some of you will get up in the morning. Your loved ones will fight you this coming week like never before. Doors will seem to close. Don't mind it. It's a reaction. I'm giving you this because you will be surprised. That it is by that time you will find out that your roommate will annoy you something. Will annoy you. Just take out time. Do what I'm asking you to do. Take your eyes away and pray. My destiny. Lord, open it up. My destiny. Some of you will have dreams where you will be taken back to even when your parents were small. And God will start showing you the movie. This is it. And you will get up and say, so this is why favor is closed. The captivity of Zion. The captivity in your family. The captivity in your life. What is that obstacle that stands before you on the next level? You see it, but to touch it, it looks like there is a resistance. There is a limitation. We are going to pray. Are you ready to pray tonight? And then I begin to minister to you by the Spirit. Oh God, turn again my captivity like the streams of the naked. Lift your voice and cry. Believe me, brothers and sisters, when you pray, God hears you. Turn again the captivity. Man prekete ke bana kakata, preku sakata kaperekete. In prakato si kapara gade, sakata ekuta. Prekete ke bana bakata bana ni mo. In pata prete ste ke bana gade mo sa. In prekete sakata, prekete ke te ke te. In prakato si kapata, prekete bana gade sh. Hallelujah. I like you to begin to mention by faith the things that must live your life this night, not tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray.
Go ahead. Mention what must leave your life tonight. Rakapata, Bekete Katosa, in Kapata Kate Kata, Rekepata, Lipon Sipalamana, Lekata Prakata Sekete, in Patata, Rekutata, Sipalamana, in Protos of Pata Brekete, Alabadosikata, Hallelujah. Someone sent a few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message. Please help those under the anointing there. A few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message to my phone. Out of seven graduates, nobody has ever been called for employment. Not even, not, I'm not talking of, I'm, I said interview. Seven graduates, no one called for interview. And the gentleman, according to what he sent me, he said he went to bed in the night to sleep and he just slept and that's what he said he said he saw me in the dream i came and i prophesied it was like a koinonia service i laid hands on him and i mentioned the name of an organization that will call him true story he said he woke up physically with an alert from that organization to come for an interview now i don't know whether or not they have given him the job i don't know that part but that's God at work from a dream prophecy you wake up physically with the alert you didn't apply ah. listen listen don't let men fool you this God bar let me tell you when God decides to help you don't tell him how he would do it your ways his ways are higher higher than our ways his thoughts higher than our thoughts when when you see it's an act of faith to let god choose how to surprise you yours is to place a demand on his integrity by faith and let him choose how to rise and bless you you may be asking god for a cup of tea whereas he's coming with a hamper for you lord one cup of tea and i'm grateful and god says no if i give you a cup of tea man can also give you let me come with a hamper in a way that you will know this is me are we together three things i want to tell you we'll pray one more time number one god can act very fast he looks slow until he rises from his throne to help you listen to what i'm telling you don't get used to the fact that just because sometimes it looks like God is too slow, God can act mysteriously fast. I was watching a documentary. I like watching documentaries um, and on, on a, a, a National Geographic channel. And then they were showing how these animals, all these, these sea mammals, how they eat one another. And sometimes with lightning speed, a giant creature can in fractions of a second just dissect another animal and i said wow so don't be deceived by the weight that it is a giant creature doesn't mean it is slow that your god is mighty that heaven is his throne and the earth is his full stool doesn't mean it would take him 10 years to bend down to touch you he can touch you from his throne and you will feel it from the earth god we're talking god here Number one, God can act fast. So that you don't limit God and say, Lord, I know you will act, but um, no problem. No. Number two, listen very carefully. God can surpass your wildest imagination. Now, it's difficult to understand, but you must believe it. God can surpass your wildest imagination. He can. He can. 
so that it's good that you bring your petitions before him but that you allow your faith to expand to the capacity that can receive everything that God decides to give you and then number three Satan and all the limitations that stand before you listen carefully have been defeated not will be defeated have been defeated what happens in a service like this is an establishing of that victory it's difficult to understand but you must believe this because the reality of our circumstances will not allow us to believe this is a fact but it's true because it came from the mouth of God himself that it is finished verdict is what we have come to enforce so that you don't stand and look at the limitation that stands before you and now begin to ask yourself questions but how will God do this promise how is God going to do this if God does it this way there's already a blockage here if God follows this way it will have to be five years before it happens if God uses this method my uncle already hates me and God says you only gave me three methods I have methods as infinite as my names I can use anything I can use a fish to give you coins I can use a donkey to speak to you I can use a bird to bring you bread it doesn't always have to be men it just has to be material bodies I can use anything are we together so tonight as we pray why are we here you have to understand number one we are here we are here to clear the way the forces remember there will always be forces that contend against the word of God we are here to challenge them because most times those forces stand our way they contend with prophecy when the force that stands against your destiny is cleared away you will be surprised how sometimes within minutes your testimony comes number two we are here to allow the anointing of the Holy Spirit to produce possibilities in our lives the anointing of the Holy Spirit is his force is his instrument for producing change he creates by his anointing it is his word but that word must be anointed are we together now the word of God without an anointing on it for 30 years could not heal anybody could not bless anybody the word just roam around the streets of Nazareth but when the word became anointed it became Christos the anointed so the word of God is coming to your life I want you to be very sensitive whether it is the prophetic word whether it's an instruction to pray whether it is the deliverance session don't just watch people fall and roll and do all of that let your heart connect be angry there is an obstacle for sure you go to bed in the night and all kinds of strange spirits molest you you get up and say it's all right how can it be all right if it's all right who invited them to your life good things about to happen to you all of a sudden your enemies reach your destiny helpers before you and they give a bad word that closes your door recycles your pain again then for many of us what you need is that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will call forth the men the men component God helps by bringing men God can agree with you. Men can disagree. You will still suffer. God agreed for David to become king. Samuel refused. David remained in the wilderness until Samuel agreed. Men can stop your breakthrough. It's not just demons. Men can stop your breakthrough. And not all men are castable. There are men who are gates even though they are hedonistic. God doesn't cast them. He gives you access to their heart. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. There are some enemies you can't drive because they are still gates. Are we together? Lord, I'm ready for you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. pray Lord I'm ready for you this is my family hallelujah glory to the Lamb 
Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen. In here, outside, as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you, as you come out here, begin to rejoice. Because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shabalakato Sabadasiata. Hallelujah. Glory to 
the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 No power can stand it. Glory to the Father. The forces must let you go. Hey, hallelujah. There's authority in the song that I'm singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to my Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. They are leaving you now. They are leaving you now. I'm speaking by the Spirit. They are leaving you now. There are chains over you leaving now. There are chains leaving you now. I'm ministering by the Spirit. There are chains are leaving you now. Even the lawful captives. Kabarakatos. Chains. I'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men. Chains be broken. The worship team already prepared our hearts. I command the chains to be broken by the authority of this kingdom. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I'm commanding chains to break. Bring them out. The anointing of the spirit is breaking chains overflow one two three online chains chains of captivity all kinds of bondages every force of darkness it's time for you to go it's time for you to go release their destinies hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, you will know now by the fire that falls on you. This is what the Lord is telling me. I'm about to pray. That if there is anything that is demonic, responsible for the challenge of your family, get ready now. Because I see a wind of fire moving from this place right there, outside. I declare it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of the spirit visit men and women and families now. Hold on. Listen, I'm still praying. Listen to me. The Bible says that Paul was at a place, it was cold in the night, and they put wood together. When they said the a viper was there, but it could not be seen. But when they set fire on the wood, the fire exposed the viper. I declare Shabbatos Katadia by the fire of the spirit, by the fire 
of the Holy Ghost every viper hiding in any family hiding in any destiny be exposed now be exposed now be exposed now be exposed now every viper every snake scorpion Glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father who was seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father who was seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Force is fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement. Overflow one, lift your hands, please. Everyone in overflow one, lift your hands. The Lord is ministering to me. Overflow one, lift your hands. There is a mighty deliverance that is coming there. At the count of three, overflow one, I want you to shout Jesus. As you shout Jesus, I'm seeing gates with chains breaking. Are you ready now? One, two, three. lady that lady going back I'm looking at a lady but in the spirit I'm watching I'm not saying you're a bad girl my dear all I'm seeing is a serpent I'm not seeing a human being in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I expose that serpent now glory to the father Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very interesting prayer. Don't mind me. Just allow me. I'm ministering under the anointing. I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit and if it doesn't sound logical don't worry just let me do the prayer snakes be judged snakes be judged snakes be judged snakes Serpents of the night be judged. Serpents of the night be judged. Serpents of the night be judged. God is against you. Ebenezer, the helper of man, is against you. Snakes, I say it again. Be judged. Be judged. No rest, no peace. Be judged. Snakes. Be judged. 
I'm seeing a lady vomiting something. That's what I'm seeing in a vision right now. I don't know what it is I'm seeing, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God is releasing people. There is victory. God is helping people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing fire not impartation fire consuming people's head and God is saying is restoration of lost glory that's what I'm seeing restoration something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away I'm seeing fire coming on people's heads where are they oh God I stretch my hands now let the fire bring restoration restoration Restoration, help them please. Restoration, Kato Soka Patta. Restoration. I command restoration of every lost glory. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. All those who are out in front under the anointing here I declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood it leaves you now one two three go 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 out of their lives in the name of Jesus out of their lives when the blood speaks nothing else speaks again Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family here. And I'm seeing that the father in that family, I don't know if he's out of pressure. But went to a herbalist and they gave him something to go and bury in the house you may not even know it this is something that happened a while ago and whatever it is seemed to backfire when it came to money issues he didn't go and pay like give the herbalist whatever it is that's what God is showing me now and I'm seeing that because of that every door in that family everything just closed I'm going to pray Lord wherever whoever represents that family here whether inside or outside or online I'm praying right now by the mercy of the God of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. Rebecca, like Becky. Rebecca. Rebecca. I'm hearing a name, Rebecca. Rebecca. You are seated on the throne. Stand up. You are Rebecca. That's the person I'm talking about. Come. Stand up. You are seated on the throne. Madam, where are you coming from? You came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You came alone? I came with my niece. And my younger brother, my cousins, they live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. My, you, but you came from Abuja. Yes, I came from What's Abuja. What's your name? Asma Rebecca. 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 Asma. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. You have come to Koinonia, the place where God dwells. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power that fights you. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
this woman is going to return with very strange testimonies mama you are Rebecca I'll pray with you in the name of Jesus I prophesy to you the Lord has located you and end comes to your captivity in the name of Jesus hallelujah where are you from where are you from I'm from Samnaka please help this woman are they, are they this mama are they Rebecca mama are you Rebecca Huh? Rebecca. You are Rebecca, Mama? Okay. This one, too. I'm, I'm going to pray for you. Sometimes God gives a word and then I'm, I'm talking to you now, my dear. Where are you from? Saminaka. State of origin. Region. Kaduna. You are from Kaduna State. Yes, Come, sir. I want to pray for you. There's trouble in your family. You are in need of the power of God desperately. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end this captivity. The lady that is going back tap her just tell her to look at me just look at me it's over now in jesus name all of you are rebecca my dear salvation is coming and anointing is leaving me to you and it's for your family from next month you will start hearing strange testimonies open doors mama you are rebecca who else is Rebecca? All of you are Rebecca. I'm going to pray for you. Kai, ma, I have to pray for you. Yes, ma. The spirit of death is following your family. I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands over our mommy. Help her, please. I command the spirit of death. One of you here, I'm, I don't know which of you, but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Um, the Lord is bringing deliverance. Right now, you can't stand it. It's, it's the power of God. One of you, an anointing is coming on you. For strange deliverance. Mama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi. There's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ, he, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Of Jesus Christ. Um, this, this mama doesn't speak English. I think she speaks Yoruba. She, she speaks Yoruba. Who is... Ejimi, can you come or someone? Just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough. You can whisper it now here. It doesn't have to be. It's your mother. Come. The Lord is breaking. The Lord is breaking a yoke. The yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire. Just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay. I'm about to pray on it. But since, since I just saw the fire, let me just do what I saw in the spirit. The spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, I say it again, be judged now. The spirit of delay, the spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, open your heart, open your heart and pray. The spirit of delay, be judged now any kind of delay the spirit of delay be judged now the spirit of delay be judged now be judged now be judged now breakthrough for your family God is bringing breakthrough mama God is bringing breakthrough. Your son will tell you in Yoruba. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's something on you. That makes wrong people come to you. I have to pray for you. Are you I'm looking at you. Very bad people come to you for bad reasons. No serious person. You know what I'm saying. I don't want to start bringing long. It's not. There is something. There's a spirit in you. That attracts those kind of people. They will never pass you and go free. They must turn back. And this thing is destroying your life. Hold my hands. 
Shout Jesus. Look at this. So you just think he's just love. You are in love with a beautiful girl. It's not just love. Out now. Go. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. I've not seen this in a long time. The Lord is showing me a map again. And this map is going to Kogi State. I'm laying my hands now. Kogi State. Let that anointing begin to find people within that region. Now I'm praying. You come within that region. Let the anointing find you. Deliverance for that region now. Shatakoto Seketea. Kogi State. Deliverance now. From any strange power. Any force of darkness. If you don't know your state of origin and you are from there, you can know it now by the anointing. In the name of Jesus, anyone from that region, that's the region the anointing of the Spirit is focusing on now. I command deliverance now. The strong men within those regions, let God's people go now. Release them right now. The spirits of the grave, the spirits of ancestry, I curse you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. lift your hands we'll pray for the sick shortly but there are people here why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing I just saw it I don't know where they are they are in almost every overflow there are representations Lord Jesus anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing let that anointing come this is your moment now receive it now ordained by God to receive this anointing today ordained by God to receive the grace for healing I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team two people in worship team that anointing that grace hallelujah glory to the Lamb the anointing to heal the sick you don't just pray for the sick. There is an anointing. I say it again. The anointing to bring healing. To transport the power of God from the throne to their lives. Receive that anointing right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama, come please. Please help her. She's not running by herself. It's under the anointing. Mama, I see a new dimension of healing coming on you. A new dimension, just hold her. A new dimension of healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah! This mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised. There is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness. For barrenness. I'm praying. Help that lady, please. In the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing, mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace, the grace in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to stand in front of you. Just to stand in front of you. That's the instruction I'm getting. 
the light shines out of darkness god is removing something from your chest i'm seeing something leaving you i don't know what this is but in the name of jesus christ i stand in front of you be free right now be free right now be free right now all of you who are standing here in the name of jesus i agree with you and i declare come let me touch your child I'm going to pray for favor. When you hear me say favor, lift your hands and receive. You need it in your life. Too many people have taken advantage of you. Even as... I'm seeing people laughing. That's, that's why I just stopped. This is very strange. A strange anointing is a sign of victory in the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Strange. It's an anointing. Very strange anointing. You see, if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why God does these things, it's not showmanship. The Bible says he's, he filled their mouth with laughter. I read it for you. You can't stand it. It's something that laughter you see is warfare. It's not just laughing hysterically. I release it. The families that is for, the individuals that is for, laughter is a weapon in the spirit. It disarms the enemy. So my dear, when I'm praying for favor, please you stand to receive it. Eh? But I bless your child. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. There's someone, your family member has been missing. This is more than one year. Who is that person? Because the person who is missing is still alive. Let, if she's the one, who is missing? Don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, I Your talked father, to you about it before. You told me about yes, it? Yes, and you remember. prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. From where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? I've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin's sister. Your cousin sister is missing. Yes. Sir. All these people, they are, Shaka, leave them. Shaka, Shaka. Their loved ones are Shaka. just fine. Now, once they are, don't please. If, if you are not related to the people, don't please don't come here. We are going to pray generally. If you if you do it like that, there will be chaos. How about you? Yes, sir, my in-law. Your in-law. Yes, sir. What do you mean your in-law? From Enugu State. Okay. All of you, your loved ones are missing. Your loved one is missing. Who is that? Your younger brother. Missing. Since when? 2014. 2014? Yes. They've not seen him? Yes, sir. You see how Satan works? How can somebody leave home? For you to sympathize with people, put them in your shoes. Imagine that your child left home and said, Mommy, I'm coming, and never comes back. I'm prophesying to you three years. Your child went and said, Mommy, I'm coming. Until today. Come, Mama. Give her the mic. Hold on, Mama. Your, your child is alive. This boy, you see, are they twins or is it the same person? This one. This is the only one. What happened to him? He left school. I put him in APU. He refused. Polly, he refused. He's busy taking drugs, going about lying to people that his parents are dead. All over our times, they call me in the police station or your state, but that court that is arrested, I don't know how they set him free at times. You see, our honestly, let me speak towards young people. It's, it's okay, Mama. It's your only son. Only son. One, 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 one. That's all. Yes. You, that's how you know it's a spirit. Because the devil sat down and saw that this boy is, will bring joy to the mother. And then the devil decided to, it, will the lady not marry and go? Huh? He's very intelligent. In school, he was in the APU. He left his school and went away. What's his name? 
Awalu is his name. Awalu. Awal. Yes. We are going to pray. Like a month ago, from what God is showing me, this boy had problem with police. They were smoking. In the they were they, smoking Igbo. Police came and drugs. packed them with his friends. Drugs. This is what, Mama, let me talk to you now. I'm the one talking to you. I know. You see, when you see me pray about this, this drug, this thing, that drug is a spirit. It's more than with due respect to doctors and this thing. It's not just because of the physical thing it gives. I'm telling you, that thing is a spirit. If you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing, counseling is not the way out. There is a real spirit that must be casted out. Are we together? Some of you here right now, seated in this program, you love God, but that, what, what they, they call it, codeine, again. Uh, mama, 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 don't worry. It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Because you see the way these boys are desperate for this money. They will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie. You give them 100 naira. You give, once you give them enough to take this thing, they will disappear and go and rubbish it. Let me tell you, there is none of those boys that is bad in himself. There is none of those girls that are bad in themselves. It's the influence of spirits. Nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day. Mama, you have come for miracle service. God will do something about you in this situation. Who is this, my brother? It's my mom, younger brother. Your mom, younger brother? Yes, for missing. over 10 years, we have not seen him. 10 years, yes, we've not seen him. Oh, pray. How about you, sir? My elder brother. You're the brother. pastor that came from Warrior. Yeah, from okay. Delta State. From Delta State, okay. Uh, my elder brother was missing about 20 years ago. We really forget, forgot about him in Ghana. He was in Ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing. Yes. Okay, let me pray with you. It's an instruction. Because some of the situations now, they are even very difficult situations. I, I don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the Lord or whatever. But my job is to pray. Because God has instructed me to pray. Mama, please stop crying. You came here with faith in your heart. Let me tell you, you must eat the fruit of your labor. And I'm saying this, I'm using this mother as a point of contact, not just to every mother here, but to all our mothers. The force that wants them to labor and die in pain, go to their graves in pain, we challenge that force now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's an error to sow and someone reap. In the name of Jesus, every true mother that has labored to sow, may they reap in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying, everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here, I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. Jesus called Lazarus. And when he called Lazarus, he came out. I called them by their various names in the spirit. For as long as they are alive and walking on this earth, I put a desire in them to reconnect to their families. Those who have been jailed because, you see, some of these people, let's be very fair, some of them, they, they smuggle their way out of the country. They go to Libya, they go to all of these places. Some of them go to do prostitution, unfortunately. Some of them go because they want to make money. Someone tells them, come, travel, and all of that. So some of them, they may even be in cells in some of these places you may never know. But regardless of the case, for as long as they are on earth, we cry for mercy in the name of Jesus Christ may they be reconnected back to you in Jesus name God bless you please go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing 
I hope someone is holding that person shouting there. My friend, come. You are doing your ushering work, but I will pray for you before you go back. Eh? Look at me. I'm looking at you. The Lord is telling me to tell you, August 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you. Hold my hands. August 7, don't forget, write it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this gentleman. You have revealed to me August 7, I prophesy to him. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. I'm seeing a ring, a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring. Ordinary, when you see a ring, you would think maybe God is saying he's bringing marriage. Maybe marriage to families. But this one, God is delivering people from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives. Right now, I stretch my hands. That's why it's important to let the Holy Ghost interpret things. I know that many of you may not believe what I'm praying, but you just allow me to pray. Every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife, I set fire on this ring I see in the spirit. Be free from them now. Ladies, be free now. I command those spirit entities to release you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the gentleman, I command freedom for you now. From any entity laying claims over you. You go to bed and they come to you in the night. They try to molest you. They try to sleep with you. They can use faces of people you know or you don't know. Or animals. Anyone under the sound of my voice, who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep, fire is coming on you now. 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 I command that they let you go now. For some of us, when good things are about to happen, just when you are about to get it, you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream. As soon as you wake up from that experience, no matter what it is, it's gone. Whether it is favor, whether it is breakthrough, fire is still speaking. I'm praying. At the count of three, oh God, you who is a mighty deliverer, I pray that your anointing will search for these ones and bring them deliverance now. One, two, three. Let there be deliverance for you now. Deliverance for you now. From any spirit entity laying claims on your destiny. Hallelujah. This lady with lime, yes, you come. No, look at me, look at me. I'm talking at that one with you, yes, come. Where are you coming from? Benway. Benway State. Look at me. Look at this. Are you seeing? She just stood there, and while I was looking, I just saw a spirit through her look at me and turn the face. Now, it's very funny how these things work. See, one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes. If your eyes are closed in this life and all that is open is your brain, you will be in trouble. Open eyes is not something just for prophets. It's one of the true riches of the kingdom. You must cry that God will open your eyes. Not to see nonsense around, to see something that is destiny molding. Now look at this girl. 
how will I stand and see someone there and call her out? Imagine that this lady went back like this. To her, she will now say, oh God, so this is how you didn't locate me. Sensitivity, discernment is a priceless spiritual gift. Sensitivity. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. Not wishing, praying in the Holy Ghost. You activate your organs. You have to pray for a long time in the spirit. For your spirit to be heightened. To be able to perceive spiritual things. Otherwise you will get into all kinds of error. Wrong perception. That you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear. You must continue in the place of prayer. Until it becomes accurate. I just showed you the thing of ring now. Some of you may see that ring now. And then tell somebody it's, it's not marriage as it were. You see, it was something else, but it's a ring. This lady has bad luck in her life. Very bad luck. I have to pray for you. She just came quietly standing. This I would have shared the grace. And the dear lady will go back. And then it will look as if. God is not in the place in the name of Jesus I'm seeing you cough I'm seeing her cough that's what I'm seeing in the spirit that she's beginning to cough I don't know why what is having to do with coughing but in the name of Jesus Christ let everything that speaks against you leave now this lady swallowed something in the dream someone came to her gave her something and she swallowed in the dream if you ever say you like this girl, everything in your life goes down immediately. I'm not saying she's a bad girl. Please don't get me wrong. I'm teaching her something here. She's not a bad girl. But this is the operation in her life. There are people... Do you know why we minister to people like that? This is what sometimes prophets see. That if they don't get discernment, they go around saying... Someone now may not see this correctly and say this girl is a witch. He's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that there is war associated with her life. You can come now and hold her hands as a businessman in two months of relationship. Everything goes down. And she knows she loves God. But if you are not discerning, you will now call the poor girl a witch. And everybody will start running away from her. She's not a witch. There is just a challenge. And then if you also say she's alright like that and somebody marries her, that guy's life will be torn into pieces. This is the testimony of so many families. It's an uncomfortable truth, but it's true. Human beings carry spirits. They carry presence. Father, liberty for her. The devil is already... Ah. Someone in overflow one and overflow three... Is being delivered from fibroid. 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 I just saw a hand reaching into someone's, like someone's stomach to bring out something. In the name of Jesus Christ, that devil of fibroid, we pray for the sick shortly. We'll be very fast at it. Fibroid is gone now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our time is gone. Can we pray for the sick very quickly? Now listen. I want you, if you are coming here to be prayed for, come full of faith. You don't have to say what is wrong with you. If you are not asked, don't worry. And all of us who are going to pray for the sick, we are going to make this very fast. Are we together? Now, um, as always, overflow one and part of overflow two. Part of overflow two. You will come in here, come and stand in front here. Uh, no, no, not main auditorium sorry not overflow one the main auditorium and then half of overflow two allow them to come here overflow one move to your projector stand please the remaining part of overflow two and the, those standing at the roadside 
you can move to the projector stand overflow three all of you trusting god for healing please move to your projector stand we have about 10 15 minutes to do this very quickly while we are doing that ushers and uh, i don't know whatever whoever needs to help them submit your prayer requests very quickly if you have your prayer request you are coming out here for healing come come there is a god that heals please if you have your prayer request you can lift it up write it very quickly no no the ushers will collect it ushers and and then if if there are not many pr department can help them let's make it snappy or any other department can help them let's let's make it very We're going to make it very fast. Please and please let there be orderliness once you have been prayed for. We may not have time to take testimonies. We are just going to pray very, very quickly. Hallelujah. Okay, let's see. Um, Ejimi, Ejimi and Benga, overflow three. Two of you can go to overflow three. Um, let's see. Pastor Alpha and promise overflow one outside pastor femi and kenny overflow two let's do it like that I'll, I'll pray i'll pray for the ones here by myself hallelujah let's pray together in the name of jesus everybody say amen, amen. father we declare corporately that your healing power will begin to flow heal the sick deliver the oppressed and in the name of Jesus, bring yourself glory by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Please make sure while we are praying, the ushers also come to these people in front so that they can have it. We'll be very, very fast so that we finish on time. Thank you, Jesus. You're the name above every other name. Hail Yahweh. Great Yahweh, great Yahweh, you're the name 
morning fade away Let every other name fade away
It's not a ritual. Declare that everything I've dropped here in the name of Jesus becomes an answered prayer. Please, ushers, make sure make sure that we have everyone's request here. Those online, connect by faith. I'm praying now. Make sure you are praying. Prophesy. Are you praying? Father, I believe. I believe. If the devil didn't stop your request from getting here, he will not stop it from being answered. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. 
and take to koto soto para kato shepre de kadesh kalabara na baseni alabara I anoint these requests. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. I anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders, breakthroughs, impossible situations. Turn things around, oh God. You have declared that you are turning things around. Turn around everyone's captivity. Turn around everyone's captivity. Let there be testimonies. Break the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. Hallelujah. Every time we do this, we do this one as instructed. And then number two, because it's an opportunity to have everyone's desire and everyone's request here. Father, I stand upon these requests by faith. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Lord, these requests are a representation of the needs of your people. I stand, oh God, in the name of Jesus on their behalf, and I cry, let fire fall upon this request. And I prophesy to you on account of this request that the Egyptians you see today, in the name that is above all names, may you see them no more forever. I say it again that the Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. Some of you, before this month is over, you will return with strange testimonies. It's still two days or a day or so to the end of the month. Between now and even tomorrow, may you return with strange testimonies. Whoever must be judged for this prayer to be answered, may it be so. Whoever must receive a conviction about you between tonight and tomorrow or till whenever for this prayer to be answered we declare it so in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ put your hands together for Jesus lift your hands to receive the prophetic word now we're rounding up the miracle service is not complete if you don't receive a prophetic word prophecy is powerful it's powerful it creates I release testimonies to your life let me say it again because many of you didn't believe it I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life. I release testimonies to your life. I release testimonies to your life. The key that you need to open the door for the next level may it be handed it over to you in the spirit. The kind of favor that you will need to testify in the name of Jesus may the God that gives favor to men grant you favor in the name of Jesus for those in need of restoration I prophesy receive restoration for those in need of an urgent miracle a miracle that has to happen on time Otherwise, it will cost you. I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names. Let it happen to you. Even within 24 hours, let there be that. Miracle. For those who have never had an opportunity to laugh, every time you want to laugh, something comes that must force you to cry. I announce to you, the season of your laughter begins tonight. Where you have been despised, I place an anointing upon you 
And tonight I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here in ministry and things are not working, you are doing your best but it's just not working. Receive the grace to begin to walk in a greater dimension of signs and wonders. Anyone here in business, in the name of Jesus, you are entering the season of your best days from now. Anyone here trusting God for a job, for you or for your loved ones, between now and the next miracle service, return with your testimony. Return with your testimony. Return with your testimony. Every challenge plaguing your family, not just you, a family thing, everyone is crying from it. Could be patterns, could be whatever it is. I stretch my hands right now. And in the name that is above all names, I bring those patterns to an end now. For those trusting God for financial miracles, your miracle, the area you are trusting God is directly in the area of finances. I agree with you and I release my faith. May the God that prospers men surprise you. Everyone here called barren or standing in for any barren person, return as a mother of joyful children. The anointing that makes things work, the grace for performance, I release that grace upon your life. Everything that is upon your hand now, I command it to work. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I announce to you, let July, from July 1st to July 31st, may it be named a month of strange miracles, strange wonders, strange miracles, strange wonders, strange miracles, strange wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, for some of you, as you sleep, may my God show you the secrets of your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every area where you are trusting God to give you divine direction, in the name of Jesus, every spiritual mechanism that God can use to communicate to you, I declare that let it be so for you. Revelation after revelation. Finally, whoever needs to arise and help you, they already have the capacity. All they need is the willingness. I pray for you. Let me tell you, breakthrough is very easy when your helper likes you. Your helper has the means, but he needs to have the heart. Some have the heart, but they don't have the means. You need both. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus that any man and woman positioned around you that has the ability to help you, I pray that God will put it in their hearts to help you. I speak over your life a new level of spiritual encounters. I say it again, a new level of spiritual encounters. For some of you, I'm holding my Bible as a prophetic act. Because some of you have divorced this book. Not willingly, but by reason of the operation of spirit. The only time you open your Bible is in church or in koinonia. Right now, fall in love with this Bible. Fall in love with the word of God. An appetite for the word of God I release upon you. Every kind of spiritual laziness. You say, I wake up to pray by 12 and sleep till 8 in the morning. Or you get up to pray and five minutes you are snoring back. It's an attack. I cast that spirit over your life. Fresh fire upon your prayer altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. We declare peace over Nigeria. We declare peace over the north. We declare peace over Plateau State. We declare peace over Kaduna State. We declare peace over Zaria. 
specifically for Zaria we fortify the spiritual borders of this city and in the name of Jesus we declare that no orchestration of darkness will arise to disrupt the peace and serenity of the people may the angels of the Lord in the name of Jesus secure the borders of this city secure the borders of the north and we pray that the perpetrators of wickedness be judged by God in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ you are here and you need Jesus desperately keep standing please you need Jesus desperately desperately you're saying man of God I need Jesus as a matter of urgency I have seen the value I have seen the usefulness of Jesus in my life hitherto every time I hear about Jesus I I resent him I scorn and laugh at those who talk about him but from tonight's meeting the Holy Spirit has convicted me and I testify and with all humility I declare that I need him second category of people man of God I love Jesus with all my heart but I know that I need a strengthening in my spiritual life things have gone haywire if God does not help me there will be no way out for me you belong to these two categories overflow one overflow two main auditorium I like you to walk out here quickly overflow three I like you to run to your projector stand very quickly I'm counting one to five and we're done one God bless you appreciate them koinonia they are coming two you're still indecisive it's not good for your destiny Jesus I love you I want to make a genuine decision for you three please if they are coming from other overflows clear the way for them you are running to Jesus don't be ashamed no man condemns you you are before his throne of grace to obtain mercy to obtain grace we are all products of his mercy and grace four please come quickly quickly double up Apostle, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. I remember coming out for an altar call, but I, I honestly don't know the name of what I'm doing now. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Jesus said, ye must be born again. Salvation is non-negotiable. Listen, let me encourage everyone. Koinonia is not the only platform for genuine salvation. The first mission of this ministry is massive salvation of souls. We must seek and save the lost. Not just save the lost when they come to us. We must seek them. Are we together? Because many of them may not be in a position ordinarily where they can receive salvation. We seek them through intercession. We seek them by engaging them in the conversation that leads them to Christ. God bless you. Lift your hands, all of you. Some of you are crying. You are standing before the Lord. Honestly, the Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Say this loud after me. You are making a confession to the God of heaven. Say, Jesus. Say it again. Say, Jesus, I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. Tonight, I declare that I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my destiny therefore I declare that you are my Lord you are my Savior you are my King I hand over my life and everything about me to you and to your Lordship I receive eternal life I receive the Spirit of God and I declare from today until forever i belong to jesus i declare that i'm a child of god the grace to walk in victory is mine amen keep your hands lifted jesus thank you father we give you all the glory for drawing these ones no man can come to you except you draw them i pray that the grace that keeps men let that grace keep these ones the grace that lifts men, let that grace lift them. The grace that secures them, let that grace secure them. In the name of Jesus. 
I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the grace to walk in victory be given to you. You will move forward ever and backward never. In Jesus name I pray. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.